Hello, good evening, Maurice. Hello, teacher. How, How are, you? are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. How about you? How are you? I'm fine. You're fine. So is it raining where you live? Yeah. It's Here raining. It rain. yeah. yeah, it's raining as well. So let's see what happens, right? Let's hope that the electricity does not actually, uh, you know, goes, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes, I, I have a problem with electricity. Really? Yeah. Today in the afternoon or right now? Oh, this moment. Church moment. Oh, yeah. So I hope that doesn't happen once yeah. we are on the in the class, yeah. right? So what about your week? How was it? Last uh -huh. week was good. Did you rest? Very good. Very good. Yes. I, I rest. Very rest. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we are going to wait for the other ones to join. I think that they are um I don't know, maybe they are trying to to join the session. Uh teacher uh link this this uh Eh, de esta plataforma que tiene usted no uh -huh. no lo no ha publicado todavía no lo han publicado no pregunto como este es el trabajo en Excel que usted hace va como hace las programaciones anteriores ah, eh, no no jet no se lo he compartido aún ah vos okay. qué no 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 jet okay. um yes I think that most of them are connecting. I will share that to you. Okay. Don't worry, Maris. I will I will share it with you. Um you. yes. So we have Vladimir, good evening. We also have Mayra Peña, good evening. Um let me see. Mm, okay. So we're going to start with you guys and then we are going to uh, continue with the other ones. Okay, let's give time. Maybe because it's sure. raining. Yeah, maybe because it's raining, right? The other ones are not here. But I'm going to um, I'm going to play the video that we should watch, right? Uh, in the meantime, let's wait for the other ones, right? El Insafor ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del sistema de formación profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos. Tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online. Cursos online, con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Además, el Insaforp también genera oportunidades para los jóvenes y los salvadoreños en condiciones de vulnerabilidad, ofreciendo para ellos cursos de formación inicial para que más salvadoreños puedan crecer y desarrollarse con programas como Hábil Técnico Permanente, ofrece la enseñanza de técnicas y destrezas en diferentes oficios, 
complementando el conocimiento técnico con competencias blandas necesarias para desempeñar un trabajo. Empresa Centro es un exitoso programa que utiliza la modalidad de formación dual, ofreciendo carreras técnicas que combinan clases teóricas con prácticas en empresas con un alto porcentaje de empleabilidad. El proyecto Caminos de la Juventud forma a jóvenes en condiciones de vulnerabilidad que han finalizado el bachillerato, brindando formación vocacional, habilidades para el trabajo y emprendedurismo. Proyectos especiales. Los proyectos especiales son aquellas acciones de formación que incorporan a otros actores e integran elementos complementarios, como desarrollo humano, articulación con proyectos productivos, financiamiento de herramientas y equipo básico para el autoempleo. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insafor ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insafor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. All right, so guys, welcome once again. Okay, I have most of you right here. So I can see that we also have new students. Okay, so welcome to Intermediate 3. Uh, for the ones that uh, probably do not know me, I'm going to introduce myself, right? So let's start by talking about today's agenda. Um, we have teacher's presentation, then I would like to know something about you, right? Uh, I'm going to share also the evaluation information. We have the class development, uh, we have placement quiz, we have a speaking time, and we have the wrap up. Okay, so let's start just by introducing myself, guys, about my academic uh, information. I, I would like to say that I'm an English teacher, right? I have uh, always dedicated uh, to this. And I also have some type of certifications in different uh, courses like human resources, Scrum, uh, marketing, etc. Yeah. About my work experience, I have worked for many uh, institutions, right, as an academic director right now. And well, you can call me teacher, teacher is Amar, it's okay. All right. Uh, good evening, George. Okay, let me see. Uh, okay, perfect. Yes, I know that some of you are going home right now, so it's okay. Then let's talk about the requirements. This is something that you already know, guys. I remember that we need to connect with our full name. Yeah, eh, en el caso de oyentes, right, listeners, agregar palabra oyente. Um, I would like to mention something about this, okay? Remember that in this case, um, it's important to participate, okay? It's very important. Um, and I'm going to say this in Spanish, guys, okay? Cuando usted no pueda participar en la clase, hágalo saber, ¿sí? pero con una justificación y con una razón del por qué usted no puede participar. En lugar de que cuando uno le esté hablando, usted no responda, ¿ok? Porque en ocasiones eh, es bien importante que nos haga saber para que el docente tampoco esté mencionándolo y mencionándolo y usted pues no va a responder. Luego, la cámara encendida durante toda la sesión, esto son reglas mandatorias de INSAFOR, eh, si usted pues no puede encender su cámara porque está yendo de su trabajo a su casa o está en un lugar el cual no es su casa, es importante también que lo haga saber para que usted esté enfocado en la clase. Eh, minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible también es muy importante para que no interfiramos con la clase, la participación activa, ¿verdad? que es uno de los requerimientos de INSAFOR también. Es bien importante que usted eh, siga las, eh, los requerimientos por parte de INSAFOR para que podamos tener una clase amena. Luego, eh, también recordarles acerca de la asistencia, la asistencia al 100% de las clases. Eh, cuando usted no pueda participar o usted tenga alguna actividad en su trabajo, yo le voy a recomendar 
que se conecte a la clase para que no pierda esos minutos de asistencia, para que luego pues esto no le afecte a usted cuando usted quiera continuar con el módulo, ¿sí? Cuando usted no pueda participar, conéctese con su cámara apagada. It's okay. Sin embargo, hágalo saber y siempre conéctese. Ok, no deje de conectarse porque si no pierde su asistencia. Eh, cumplir con los 120 minutos clase, esto genera pues la asistencia efectiva por cada sesión, por cada clase. La asistencia la tomamos en dos ocasiones. En este caso, en, una, en ocasiones va a ser una vez, dos veces, dependiendo del tiempo como lo tengamos durante la clase. Se tomará como válida al escuchar al participante decir presente. Ok, ya sabemos que debemos de decir present. Ok, cuando yo mencione su nombre, trate de activar su micrófono. Ok, no se quede en mute, porque entonces la asistencia no es efectiva. Eh, sesiones uno a uno disponibles. Creo que aquí la mayoría ya sabemos cómo es la dinámica de nos, nuestras clases, que al final de, eh, de la clase nos quedamos alrededor de unos 10 minutos o puede ser menos, dependiendo de cómo el estudiante, pues, eh, si tiene preguntas, ¿verdad? Si le surge alguna duda acerca de algún tema que estamos viendo en el momento, etc. ¿Ok? Eh, también mencionar los permisos, ¿verdad? Yo, pues, no puedo otorgar permisos. Eso es bien importante. Sí le voy a agradecer que me haga saber cuando usted no va a poder participar y que se va a conectar, pero no va a participar por el hecho de que eh, en la clase siempre pues los que ya estuvieron conmigo ya sabemos que es bien participativa, que no solamente hablo yo, sino que usted habla, porque usted es el alumno, ¿ok? Yo nada más le guío para que usted vaya eh, comprendiendo y se puede expresar en el idioma, ¿ok? Luego, eh, sabemos lo de Zoom, ¿Verdad? Que el botón de silencio, cuando no estemos participando por el sonido, por el background. ¿verdad? Eh, la cámara, nuevamente, se hace pues eh, este llamado de atención que la encendamos cuando podamos encenderla. ¿Sí? El uso de los chats, ya sabemos que lo utilizamos bastante cuando estamos desarrollando diferentes ejercicios. Los break rooms, ¿ok? Que los utilizamos también cuando es momento de participar o hacer alguna actividad en equipo, ¿ok? Para los que ya estuvimos, ustedes saben de que siempre hacemos bastantes actividades en equipo, ¿sí? Para que usted pueda compartir con su compañero y también tenga ese momento que es indispensable para que usted también pueda intercambiar sus pensamientos con sus compañeros. Eh, el botón Ask for Help, cuando usted tenga preguntas, puede pedirme ayuda. Okay, o cuando usted eh, esté en la sala y pues el compañero no se ha unido, okay, que también me puede pedir ayuda. Y pues lo último, pero no menos importante, el respeto. ¿verdad? El respeto ante todo con sus compañeros y con la clase en general. Es bien importante, ¿verdad? Eh, bien, dicho esto, eh, let's go ahead and talk about homework and evaluation. As we already know, guys, we have five weeks, right? So we have week one that we need to complete section one and week one is from June 26th to June 30th. Yeah, week two is going to be section two from July the 2nd to July 7th. Then we also have week three. We need to complete section three from July 10th to July 14th. Week four, This is going to be from July 17th to July 21st. And this one is going to be section four. That means that we need to develop, we need to complete those sections on the platform, okay? Um, this last module, okay, most of you were with me. So we did really good with the platform, okay? Uh, most of you completed it right on time. So that is perfect, all right? So week five, section five and the final exam. So from July 24th to July 27th, even though our classes are going to finish on July 28th, we need to complete the platform one day before finishing our classes, okay? So we can have all of your scores ready and there is nobody missing, yeah? This is very important, homework and evaluation. Yeah, do not forget about that, please. Um, 
then let's talk about the course content. So um, this month, all right, those weeks that we're going to be together, basically guys, this module is about marketing. Okay, is full marketing. And as you can see right here, we have unit one, the product life cycle, unit two, marketing, unit three, branding, unit four, loyalty. So the whole course is going to be about marketing. Yeah, we're going to learn a lot, yeah, different things that probably you already know. And there are some things that are, uh, I would say, new for all of us, yeah? Then uh, let me go ahead and share um, this. Let me just copy this. Okay, guys. Um, you know, guys, the ones that were with me last, the last module, you know that we work with the spreadsheet because of the, you know, the order, right? That we can have in our classes. So you have the material uh, beforehand, right? We start the class. And we also have the different quizzes that we take. So for the new ones, we have this spreadsheet. Um, I'm going to send the link right now so you can go ahead and open it. Yeah, please bookmark it, have it on your, uh, you know, on your uh, favorites. And you can go ahead and find the class right here. So we have the first class, which is the one that we are teaching right now. So you can open this link. This is a PDF file. This is the same, the one that I'm sharing, okay, uh, during the class. We also have listening quizzes and we have one present perfect quiz today. Okay, let's, we are going to make a review on this um, today. Yes, basically guys, the reminder, okay, every single Friday, remember to work on the platform, please. Okay, do not forget. Do not leave the platform till the end, right? Because sometimes we leave the platform till the end. And well, that is, um, I would say more homework for you, right? And we don't want you to be overloaded. Yeah, we want you to be always on time and, you know, have your, your time. What you can do guys is that you can go ahead and take one of one exercise per day. Right, that's my recommendation. But if you want to do it in your own way, that's okay as well. Then the feedback information, guys, we have it right here. We have your names. Yeah, for example, as you can see, Atilio, today is your day that you are going to stay with me. Okay, after the class. And then Carlos Omar, mm -hmm. La, Carlos Vladimir, Eduardo Franco, and so on. Okay, you can find mm -hmm. your name right here. Yes. Uh -huh. So if you're not able to take the, the feedback, it's okay. All right. I'm going to call out your name, but if you're not able, you can tell. Yeah. And let me see what else. That's basically about the spreadsheet, guys. You know that we have uh, this basically is the academic calendar. So you can see the days in which we are going to have classes. Yeah. As you can see, this is the first week. And then we have the second week the third week, the fourth week, and the last week. If there is a change, right? Um, in the meantime, I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to let you know if we have a change on the schedule or on the days, right? Because of, you know what is going on in our country right now. But so far, everything is like this, okay? We are going to have those days classes, as you can see, and we are going to finish classes on Friday, July 28th. Yeah, so that's basically, guys, about the plat, uh, the platform, the um, the spreadsheet. I don't know if you have any questions, something that is not clear about that. Remember to also join the platform if you already have your credentials and everything. Please try to join the platform. Okay, do not forget about that. Um, that's basically, guys, and the course content, right? Which is this. We are going to develop four units. And you have the names of the units right here. The product life cycle, marketing, branding, and loyalty. Okay. I'm going to let you know once uh, we are going to take the, the quizzes that we have right here for the ones that probably are new. Yeah, I'm going to let you know we take all of those quizzes. And this is very important to mention. We take all of the quizzes that we add right here during our class. We do not take any quiz 
from this spreadsheet um, before or af after class. Okay, no, we don't. Okay, that is very important. Um, that's basically, guys. Okay, so now I would like to listen to all of you. Okay, the first thing that I would like to listen from you is this. I would like you to tell us your name, your expectations of this module, and your commitment in this module. I would like to hear what are you going to do to improve in this module, okay? So do I have volunteers? Uh -huh. Name, expectations of this module. What do you expect? Your commitment, yes, in this module. You, your commitment is your compromise with this module. Okay, I would like you to tell me your commitment. Okay, so let's see. Do I have volunteers? <laughs> or no, okay, should I pick somebody? No. Right. Atilio. Mm, okay. My name is Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Um, I really want to continue in this course. Okay. Um, my comp uh, compromise. Commitment? Com commitment. Uh, commit my commitment to be the dollar class. To be all classes. To be in, yes. in all classes. Okay. Yes. Okay, Atilio. I'm recording yes. this, okay? You are going to be in all of our classes, Atilio. Excellent, okay? Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. next. Me, teacher. Hello. Thank you. Okay, uh, first, Carlos Omar and then Mayra. Thank you. Okay, thank you. My name is Carlos Linares. Uh, my expectation in this model is to uh, improve my vocabulary and read the, les the lessons and listen to audios in, in English and improve to my, my grammar. Excellent. And your commitment? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Carlos, you need to have your commitment during class. Your commitment, your compromise, okay? Su compromiso. Yes. Ajá, ¿qué va a hacer usted? Usted espera, uh, right? Stay here always in class. Uh, mm -hmm. At 8 o'clock, puntual. Puntual. Uh, Puntual, eh, mm. eh, participate in the old class and okay. made the old, old quiz very well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carlos, perfect. All right, excellent. Thank you, Carlos. Mayra. Hi, everyone. Hello. I think my name is Mayra Pena. Who is? Well, hola. Yes, we can hear you. I think that you are having issues with the internet, Mayra. Hola. Hello. Hello. Do you hear me? I'm sorry, I'm going to my home and. It's very difficult the connection to the internet right now. Yeah. Okay, Mayra. Don't worry. Okay, so look up the Yeah, she's having issues. Okay, don't worry, Mayra. You are going to pass um maybe at 9 30. Okay, I will call out your name. I know that you are on your way home, so don't worry. Thank you. Okay. Okay, next.
Okay. Thank you, Maurice. Go. Then Tony. Okay. Me? Yes, Maurice. Wow, okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Mauricio Velasquez. My expectation of this model is learn to learn more in my commitment in this model is a, a participate more in group. Excellent. Very good, Maurice. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Maurice. Tony. Okay. Hi, good evening. My name good is evening. Tony Elias, my full name. Uh, my nickname is Tony Elias. Um, the, the expectation of this model is um, learn more about English, um, be better or, or um, improve my pronunciation and my speaking. Okay. Uh, when how I speaking, or, or como debería, um, um, I'll learn more. Um, my commitment in this novel is to have 10 in all the listening quiz. Excellent, Tony. Um, okay. And try to be punctual, ever. Okay. Um, that's all. Perfect. Thanks. Very good, Tony. Okay, next. Mm, okay, so I'm going to pick, all right. So, Nelly. <laughs> Hello, uh, my name is Nelly Lilibet Andrade Garcia. My expectation of this module is at quite more knowledge and um, improve my English and speaking. And my commitment in this module is participate in all class and um, Practice more speaking with my uh, partners yes. and um, try to connect all, all the class. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Nelly. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Emerson. Hello, Miss. Hello, Emerson. Well, in this module, I job to improve my pronunciation and speaking skills with okay. my peers. My commitment for this module is complete our activities some time. Perfect. Excellent, okay. Perfect, thank you, Emerson. Um, Fatima Gabriela. Okay, uh, well, I'm not sure if you can hear me in this moment. Yes, okay. yes. Okay, okay um, well. Uh, good night, teacher and classmate. My name is Fatima Losa. So about my expectation of this model, maybe um, will be learn um, uh, more vocabulary and to know about your and about the class. And, and well, my commitment in this model, uh, maybe, um, Pay attention in all class and um, participate uh, in the groups because um, I am a little shy. And, and that's it. Okay. Thank you, Fatima. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Um, Eduardo Franco. <clears throat> Good evening, teacher, Good evening. everyone. Uh, my name is Eduardo, Eduardo Franco Nunez. Uh, my expectation of this model is to learn a little more. Um, my commitment in this model is to pay attention and try to be in all classes. Thank you. Thank you, Eduardo. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, Carla Sofia Argueta. Hello. 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 Good evening. 
Uh, bueno, my name is Carla Spia. My expectation of this model is uh, learn and learn more vocabulary and the pronunciations. Um, what I mean, commitment? Oh, commitment is your compromise, to compromise. Ah. My commitment in this model is a... a star. To be? <laughs> to be... On time in, okay. the, in the class, mm -hmm. I try. <laughs> okay. And maybe participate more. Yes. Okay. Very good, Carla. Thank you. Right. Uh, Sandra Abigail. Abigail. Okay, Luis Miguel. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. My name is Luis Corvera. My expectation about this model is probably improved all about the new language because I have to to learn all to to try to speak fluently. How do you say Fluently, yes. Fluent. Uh, my com my commitment probably is um, staying in all the classes and at the same time have a good time with my teammates. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Luis Miguel. Uh, let me see who is missing. Um, Raúl Jordán. Good evening. Good evening. Teacher and classmates. Sorry that I put you as a listener because I'm still doing stuff of my job. Okay. So my expectation of this model are uh, maybe improve my vocabulary and learn a new stuff maybe with this course. Uh, yeah. and, and my commitment is maybe is participate more than the last course because sometimes I stay a lot busy but I'm trying to, to connect to, to get participate with all my classmates. Okay. Just that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Uh, Jose Bernardo. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, my name is Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Uh, my expectation for this model could be um, be punctual um i need to practice more so i uh, need to do more of my speaking mm -hmm. and i my committee is study more to practice more for the expectation to be true okay thank you jose juan jose herrera Good evening. My name evening. is Juan Jose Herrera. My expectation of this model uh, is uh, learn more vocabulary, improve my pronunciation, and learn about sentence structure mm -hmm. and other thing. And my commitment is try to be in all classes. Okay, thank you, Juan Jose. Okay. okay, perfect. Vladimir. Good evening, teacher. My name is Vladimir Rodriguez. My expectation of model is to learn new vocabulary to improve my English. My commitment is to pra more practice and attend all classes. Oh, classes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, so I know that George, you are on your way home as well. 
right? Well, in this case, Mayra as well. Let me see, Kenya as well. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, thank you very much. So I'm pretty sure that we all have expectations, right, uh, on the new module. So what I need you to do is practice, okay, as much as you can, guys, during the class, try to participate, try to speak, yeah, I mean, those are two hours in which we can learn a lot, right? And if you participate, it's going to be even better, okay? So let's start with today's class and we are going to start by talking about vocabulary, yeah? So in this case, let me ask you something. Do you know the meaning of all of those words? What is the meaning of appeal? Do you know the meaning of it? And if you know the meaning, Please explain to us. Explain the meaning to the class. Appeal? No. Okay. Do you know the meaning of growth? No. Okay. Now explain that to us, but in English. What is growth? How can you explain to us that word? Huh? No? Okay, so what is the meaning of take off? Demand. Differentiate. Buy out. Discontinue. Feature. Withdraw. Saturation. Maybe oh. I know. Yes. Um, take off is when you start something or when you start to drive or when you uh, start to up well, like a, like a, like a rocket, maybe take off. Oh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. you know I think that uh, Tony mm -hmm. yes I think that in this case you are correct okay but what I need to think about is in the marketing industry I forgot to mention oh, that okay. in the okay, marketing okay, okay. industry okay because you are correct okay but in the marketing industry when you launch uh, um, a product, this is the takeoff. Okay, when you launch a product, all right. Mm -hmm. Another one that you may know? Maybe to classificate the product. Okay. Mm -hmm. Official. Yes. I yes, have to explain what, what is feature. Feature, yes. Uh -huh. Um, is specific things about the product. Okay, perfect. A specific things about the product. Yes. Okay. Very good. So we have a takeoff. We have feature. Um, buyout. Buyout. What is buyout? Um, okay, but explain that to us in English. Uh, hmm? With an example, I tell you, I think that you are on mute. Uh, client, um, I have cell phone. Okay. Yes, could be. Perfect. Uh -huh. Okay, buy out. Uh -huh. So, um, what is the mean of withdrawal? What is it? What is withdrawal? Mm, is the design, something like that? Not exactly. Withdrawal. Withdrawal. Uh -huh. Withdraw. Yes. Okay. 
So I'm pretty sure that some of those words are new for you. Yes. In the marketing context, let's um, pay attention to this, guys. Though all of those words, the ones that you can see right here, those are related to marketing. Okay. Just marketing right now. Okay. So what we are going to do is the following. Yeah. What we need to do is that we need to go online and we need to find the meaning of these useful terms, the ones that we have right here. So we are going to have five teams. Yeah. So we have team one, team two, three, four, and five. What I need to do is that I need to look for the meaning. You need to explain to us the meaning in English and you need to create an example because we need to understand each of those terms. We are going to see all of them through all the course, okay? So we need to be able to understand this in the marketing industry, marketing, okay? So open the class. I'm going to create five teams right now. If you cannot join the team, it's okay. Please stay here. But if you are able to join the team, go to the breakout room. So team one, Jose Bernardo, Juan Jose Herrera, Carla Sofia, Luis Miguel. Team two, Atilio, Carlos Omar, Raul Jordan, Tony Elias. Uh, team three, Fatima Gabriela, Mauricio Velázquez, y Sandra Bonilla. Team four, Eduardo Franco, Nelly, and Kenya. And team five, Emerson, Mayra Peña, and Vladimir. Si alguno de ustedes no puede eh, ir al salón, que es aquí. Y si alguien se queda sin equipo, lo voy a mover de salón. Okay? So let's go ahead and work on this. I'll give you from five to six minutes in order for you to look the two terms and one example per each, right? Um, okay. Hello, hello. How are you? Good. I bought Okay. I have bought internet. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Ah, uh, it's the homework. The number. What number? Number. Number five. Yes. Number five. With draw. With draw. Dice que escribamos oración. Why sentence is pure? I should be four sentences. Okay. Hello, Juan. Good evening. Hello, Juan. Hello, Emerson. ¿Cómo estamos? How are you? Very fine. I'm ready. Okay, ready. Okay. Let's start with uh, Vamos a ver qué es lo que quiere. Dice Cortar una de las palabras. Withdraw and take off. This is core. Cool. 
Um, Morris, I think that you were on room three. Creo que usted estaba en el room three, pero lo moví aquí con ellos. Ellos son uh, el equipo cinco. Can... Ah, cinco. Okay, thank you. Future in situation. All right. Okay. Okay. ¿Cuántas oraciones tenemos que escribir? One, one per word. One. Yes. One per word y unos que busquen la, el, um, el término para poder explicarlo y los demás que hagan las oraciones. Uh -huh. Okay. Good evening, Wendy. Teacher, explain the game, please. Yes. So what you need to do is that since you are team five, let me share my screen, guys. You can share your screen if you want, guys. I already make it available. So what you need to do is this. Since you are team five, you need to look for the definition. Tiene que encontrar yeah. la definición de la palabra feature y la definición de la palabra saturation. Yes? Yeah. Saturation. Entonces... Yeah. Primero encontrar la definición. ¿Qué es? ¿Verdad? ¿Qué es? Explicarlo a la clase, qué es la palabra, con un ejemplo. ¿Sí? Oh, oh. Un ejemplo de cada uno. Solamente van a ser dos ejemplos y la definición. Y que aquí como son, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, a menos que Mayra no pueda participar por su conexión a internet, son cuatro. Entonces, dos van a explicar eh, los términos, uno que explique feature y el otro que explique saturation. Y usted, Maurice, lo que puede hacer es elaborar una oración con la palabra feature. Y Wendy puede elaborar una oración con la palabra saturation. ¿Sí? A medida que todos participen. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Muy bien, ahí tiene la definición Emerson. Emerson. Yes, ahí ya tiene la definición Emerson. Ahora falta el ejemplo. Ok. I send the chat to the definitions. Miss, uh, yes. I have a question. Okay. No. 
the meaning of these words would be the context of marketing. Of marketing, yes. Okay. So the market saturation happens when products or services number two and are no longer in demand. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh I have an example for the saturation. It is the determined by the demand and economic environment, where a business function simultaneously include competition from its competitors. 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 Uh, Emerson, the yes. factory, the product, the quality, the product is uh, la duración del producto sería un feature. Mm -hmm. Podría ser. Um, no, Maurice. I mean, could be. No. It could be. I mean, it could be because a feature of a product is a characteristic. Es una característica del producto. Es si es duradero, lo que usted estaba diciendo. Puede ser un mm -hmm. feature. Sí, puede ser un feature. Okay. For example, um, you can, I mean, look at this example. This camera has several features that make it easy to use. And we are using the word features. Mm -hmm. oh. See? Okay. Uh, the example is a specific the product. Mm -hmm. Correct. Oh, okay. 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 Example teacher, these shoes are durable because of the kind of leather. Okay, because of the kind of leather, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. One example. Just one. Okay. Saturation. Saturation.
Okay. Ready, guys? Or no? Okay. Yes no. or no, Jet? I'll give you uh, two minutes, okay? Two minutes. Okay. Yes. I, we can see. <laughs> Maybe the example for ground is a uh, meta business, Facebook. No, I don't uh, see the We uh, because we have a lot of times using this in this conversation because because because. And because I think another... the because the because I think they always uh, is the I think it's perfect. Just um the last of growth. Um, should be the second. The second one. And the goal is like the sum. Like this. Okay. Um. Um. I don't know if it should be it refers or is. Uh, without the S, yes, it refers. Wow. 
Hello, everybody. So, I read the article for Grow. Uh, it's something like build customer loyalty. So, Okay, so you are done? Hmm. You're ready? More or less. More or less. Okay. Hmm. All right. Um, let's see. All right. Let's go back. Okay, so let's wait for the other ones to join, okay? Let's wait for the other ones. Okay. Okay, so let's wait for the other ones to join. I think that they are still working on that. Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. So we are going to start with your information in a minute, guys. I'm going to take the attendance. So once you hear your name, say present, okay? Atilio Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Omar Linares. Present. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Okay, let's see Emerson. Yes. Okay, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Hello, please. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Fatima Gabriela Loza. Present. Oh, yes. Thank you. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. George. Jose Bernardo López. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Juan Jose Herrera Albarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Miguel Corbera Enriquez. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Present. Thank you. Nelly Lilibez Andrade García. Present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán Miranda. Present. 
Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Sandra Abigail. Present. Wendy Marisela Ramírez. Present. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you, guys. All right. So let's start with uh, your expectations. Okay. Let's see. Uh, team one, Jose Bernardo, Juan Jose, Carla Sofia, Jorge, Luis, Miguel, and Nelly. Appeal and groups. Okay. Hello. Uh, our. Well, appeal uh, to business strategies that grab consumers' attention and pressure them to purchase a product or service. Mm -hmm. Refers to the ability of a product service or message to attract and pursue the target audience. Audience? Yeah. Audience. The appeal can be emotional, rational, cultural, social, or any other type, and use use it to generate interest and motivation in consumers to take a desired action, such as buying a product or adopting an idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, growth means it refers to the sustainable and measurable increase in a company's customer space, revenue, profitability, and market share through effective marketing strategies and uh, tactics. Uh, it is to the process of using data again through marketing campaigns and expectations to drive growth. The goal of this is to maximize the return on investment in marketing and improve the company's competitive position in its target market. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, um, what is a synonym for appeal? What is a synonym? I think it's uh, a persuade. Persuade? Persuade. Okay, to persuade. Okay, yes. Yes, to make attractive, right? Something in marketing appeal means to um, to make attractive, to make a product attractive, to appeal. Yes, to make the product attractive for customers to buy it. And growth, which is a synonym of growth. What will be a synonym? Increase. Increase, very good. Also development, right? Growth. Uh -huh. Excellent, thank you guys. Very good. Uh, team two, let me see. Uh, I think that team two was Eh, Fátima, Atilio, Carlos Omar, Carlos Omar, Raúl Jordán, and Tony Elias. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Um, our example or our, our uh, centers, it's like a conversation. Perfect. Um, we think that um, to talk about um, differentiate and discontinue. Uh, we select uh, talk about TVs and I'm going okay. to start. Okay. I like TV, Samsung's TV, and mm -hmm. I'm going to buy one TV. What do you recommend? Atilio. Uh, I recommend the TCL brand. Because the brand innovation quantity of the have good different price. Fatima? Okay, uh, in my opinion, I recommend the brand LG. Uh, therefore, I think I have more entertainment option and the other brands don't have um, apps. Uh, like Netflix, that Disney Plus, and HBO Max, or 
Paramount Plus. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that the Sony brand is better because it has had a good quality. Many people like Sony brand. That is, is to say, uh, I prefer the best quality and technology. Sony is always one step ahead of the other brand, making the competition or the competition to discontinue. An example, Sanke RCA in high tech. High tech. Okay, very good. So, Tony, I like some. I like uh, Samsung TVs. Okay, and I am going to buy. And I am mm -hmm. excellent. I'm going to buy a TV or yes, a TV. What do you recommend? Perfect. Okay. The, um, the word dictionary um, try to change this option that it that is to say um, that I or that is not to say it's correct that is to say it is correct mm -hmm. okay. yes okay. okay to use another synonym of because correct perfect all right, thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me see, uh, team three, which is withdraw and take off. Well, we don't have anybody on that team, okay? So let's see, guys. What is the meaning of withdraw and what is the meaning of take off? Okay, so withdraw, guys, in simple words and synonyms, all right? Withdraw means move away, remove. Yes, remove a product. That is withdrawal. Okay, I I I listen this uh, word in the bank. Withdraw like would you retire money of your account? Correct, and that is the context but, in a bank. Uh huh. Exactly, but in marketing is remove the product of the um, the, um, the 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 sales from the market. Yes, from the, the market. market. Okay. Totally okay. from the market. Perfect. Okay. So now, what is the meaning of take off? It is a synonym of withdraw because take off means to stop something from being sold, to remove it as well, to not sell it anymore. Take off, you take off a product when this product probably does not work or maybe uh, for safety reasons, right? For example, let's say the toy was taken off or in this case, because of the idea, the toy was taken off the market for safety reasons. So take off means remove to stop um, from being sold. That is the meaning. Is almost the same as withdraw. Yes. Okay. And now let's see. Uh, team four. We didn't have any person on team four. Demand and buy out. Yeah. So what is the meaning of demand, guys? Who can explain to us what is demand? Demand a product. Huh? It's when clients uh, need to buy it, um, the product. Excellent. So basically, guys, demand, I would say that a synonym is going to be request in big quantities. All right, when you demand a product, that means that you request it in big quantities, yeah? Then we also have buy out. Buy out means to buy, okay? It means the acquisition of something, the purchase of something to acquire something, yeah? The acquisition, yeah? That is buyout. Now, what about team five? 
which was feature and saturation. <clears throat> Yes. Yeah. Teacher, I saturation. Saturation in the act or result of completely feeling I sing or play so that nothing more can be added to it marking saturation. Okay. Example. The air, airport is approaching saturation with more than 20 million passenger per passengers per year. Is correct? Yes, passengers. Okay. Yeah, passenger. Passengers. Uh, the other example, the, the Ten, ten. Park industry has already reached its saturation point. Okay. Thank you, Maurice. Okay. Okay. Amazon. Okay. He will continue with the other one. Feature. Mm, let me see if Emerson is here. Yes. I, sorry, I have a problem with my internet. Yes, I know. Okay. <laughs> okay, the features, features has product a thread of the attribute that deliver available to end users mm -hmm. and different a product in the market. For example, that camera have a great features for in is easy use it. Oh, okay. Um, that this camera has. Okay. This has. camera has. Sorry. Yes. Okay, guys. Well, I think that feature you know that is the characteristic, right? The trait of a product. Yes, and saturation in this case, uh, I mean, this the word is self-explanatory. Yeah, saturation, yes. We are going to see those terms along the way and you will see how to interpret those. Okay, let's move to the main topic for today, which is product life cycle, yeah. So guys, in marketing, we have this, which is the product life cycle. And the product life cycle, has four stages, okay? And it, it starts from the product development. Do you remember that the last module, actually it talks about the product development. So this module is related to the previous one. Then the product life cycle has four stages. As you can see right here on this image, we have introduction, growth, maturity and declines. And in this stage, we can also have the product extension. Yes, but let's talk about uh, what is the product life cycle, yeah? So do I have some volunteer to read? Who wants to read? Yay. Thank you, Carlos. Okay, the product life cycle. The product life cycle refers to the stage that a product goes through from its introduction to the market until its eventual decline and re removal from the market. It is, in, it is a concept that helps business understand and manage the different phase that a product experience over its lifespan. Lifespan, okay, the lifespan, yes. So in this case, guys, the product life cycle, it has some stages, four stages to be exact. Yeah, and as you can see, it says, 
that it refers to those stages that a product goes through from its introduction, as you may see right here, the first stage, yeah? And it says that it goes to the end, which is its eventual decline and removal, yeah? Decline or removal. But on this stage, we can also have the product extension and we are going to see examples so you can understand the concept itself, yeah? So from the book, we have those four stages, yeah? Let's try to um, find which is the correct term for each definition. Okay, so Tony, help us reading letter A and give us what is the correct term that we should select for this description. Okay, letter A. The product is no longer attractive for many customers. Sales stop and the producers start making decisions about discontinuing the product, buying out competitors or selling it to another producer. This is decline. The decline stage. Very good. Okay. Um, Eduardo? Eduardo Franco? Sorry, teacher, I have bad internet. Yes, okay, don't worry, it's okay. Fatima Gabriela? Okay, yes. um, the second. Yes. At this stage, a stage, a new product is brought into the market. The demand of the product mm, mm, might yes might be low and marketing effort try to develop branding quality and and uh, our um how, how do you say our awareness awareness uh, awareness of the new product to innovators yes okay um, <laughs> i think is um Market introduction, I'm not, I'm not sure, or right. matu maturity. No, it is going to be in a market introduction. Okay. Okay. Very okay. good. Yes. So it says that at this stage, a new product is brought into the market, right? So the demand of the product might be low. Yes. And that is correct. And marketing efforts try to develop branding, ads, quality, and awareness. What is the meaning of awareness? What is a synonym for awareness? Knowledge of the product to innovators, to make that product to be known by others. Awareness, knowledge about something. When it's newest. Correct. Hmm? Very good. All right. So, Nelly, what about number three? Let her see. The growing sales decrease because there are many comp competitors. Market saturation occurs. The marketing efforts work to differentiate the product and price might be lower than in the previous state. Very good. The, the maturity? Yes, maturity. Yes, very good. So competitors. Competitors. And differentiate. Differentiate. Yes, differentiate. Very good. Maturity, right? So the growth in sales decreases, yes, because there are many competitors. Market saturation occurs and the marketing efforts work to differentiate. The product and prices might be lower than in the previous stages. So that means the maturity of the product. 
Yeah. And the last one. Can you please help us um, reading the last one, Atilio? Yes. In new products, resistor and increase in demand because more customer uh, accept the sale start to grow on the there is the late competitive com competition competition okay this one is going to be gross repeat after me and say registers say registers register registers registers yes registers yes so in this case the new product registers an increase in demand because more customers accepted growth right the product is growing is developing yeah so the sales start to grow and there is little competition yeah very good so we have those four stages of the product life cycle yeah remember those four stages okay. yes huh? so now let's talk about advantages and limitations of the product life cycle what are some advantages what are some limitations yeah so jose help us reading the advantages and disadvantages or limitations please carla Okay, the advantages are forecast sales trends over time. Business can adapt their strategies dependent on the stage. Can be applied across for portfolio products. Uh, yeah. Very simple to use. Excellent. Uh, limitations. Not all products follow, follow the product life cycle. Hard to predict how long a product will be in each stage. Mm -hmm. It's only a prediction of a product's stage. It's a theory, not an exact science. Excellent, very good, Carla. So yes, guys, we have some advantages. And as you can see right here, forecast. What is the meaning of forecast? Forecast means to predict, yeah? It, it is a prediction. Yeah, so forecast sales trends over time. Business can adapt their strategy depending on the stage. That is correct. And it can be applied across a portfolio of products and it is very simple to use. Those are some advantages. But what about some limitations of the product life cycle? Not all products follow the product life cycle, of course, not all of them. It is hard to predict how long a product will be in each stage. Absolutely, it is really difficult. It's only a prediction of a product's stage, prediction only, and it's a theory, not an exact science. The product life cycle, but it's a really useful tool in marketing the product life cycle yeah so now let's talk about some examples of product life cycle that we know okay that we know so let's see um help us reading this information emerson example of the product life cycle the home entertainment industry is filled with examples at every stage of the product life cycle. Video, video cassettes are gone to throw the shelves. DVDs are in the decline stage and flat screen. The smart TV are in the major phase. Phase. Very good, okay. Pronunciation of ED. Yeah. Is it filled? Is it filled? Or is it filled? Filled. 
Okay, filled. Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. So, guys, this one is the first example, okay, of the product life cycle. Yeah, the home entertainment industry. Okay, and it is correct. It is full. Yeah, it is full um, with different examples at every stage of the product life cycle. Video cassettes are gone. And that is true. DVDs are in the decline stage. And we know that. Yeah. And now we have flat screen smart TVs are in the uh, major phase. Yeah, so we can see different products in different stages of the product life cycle. Yeah, so we have example number two. Yes, and we are going to talk about Nintendo. Okay, Jose, help us reading this information. Nintendo is a good example of a company that manages its product life cycle well. You can still purchase Nintendo games originally released in the 1980s because they are continuously updated with the latest technology. In the last decade, Nintendo pivoted a subscription model on the Switch console to match customer trends. Yes, pivoted. Yeah. Pivoted. Pivot it, yeah. Guys, this is an example, okay? And it says, okay, this is a good example of a company that manages its product life cycle well. Why? Because you can still purchase Nintendo games originally released in the 1980s, yeah? And if you remember the stages, we have introduction, growth, maturity, decline, and the product extension. So Nintendo is right here because they were able to manage the product life cycle correctly. There are Even many four or five years. Uh, it makes the company makes a rebranding. Exactly, and that should be the best way to keep your product alive, right? Uh -huh. Very good. And the last example that we have. Is this? Uh -huh. So help us spread in this information, uh, Nelly. Type rights helped in improving the speed and efficiency of okay. writing. Okay. However, with time, never devices such as computers and laptops were introduced. And the demand for typewrites declined. Eventually, they were searched maturity and were taken off the market. Okay. So typewriters, right? Typewriters yeah. helped in improving the speed and efficiency of writing. And that is true. Yeah. Uh -huh. However, with the time, newer devices, such as computers and laptops were introduced and the demand for typewriters declined. Eventually, they reached maturity and were taken off, taken off, removed, okay, from the market. Yes. Okay, so they were taken off the market. And that is passive voice, if you remember that topic. They were taken off, right? So in this case, this is a clear example of product life cycle. They are already declined and they reach the maturity stage. Huh? So you see, do you have questions? Do you have any type of example that you would like to share? Mm -hmm. 
If not, then let's move. And let's talk about this role play before the activity, okay? So I need two volunteers. Mm -hmm. One is going to be Gina and the other one, Nelson. I need teacher. Okay, Tony, you are Gina, Maurice, you are Nelson. Okay. Have you tried the new Greek tortillas? Green tortillas? Mm -hmm. Tortricas. What tortricas. Yes. What does the sun lies tortillas? They are actually corn chips with avocado flavor. Mmm. Yeah. They sound delicious. Where did you get them? They're not everywhere yet. Only low prices market sells them at the moment. Let's buy some. I want to try green tortricas. Okay, very good. Yeah. So, tortricas, green tortricas. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the low prices market, the low prices market are the ones that um, they give a low price, right? Like Dollar City? Correct. To stimulate okay. the product. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Exactly. Low prices market. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. That was a conversation, okay, that we had. Um, as you can see, guys, in this case, this unit, unit number one, we need to make a review on the present perfect. But we're going to make a review with, a, with an exam, okay? I would like to see if you remember about the present perfect, yeah? So let's take the first quiz and let me send the, the link, okay? So, for this quiz, we are going to do it um, different from the previous one, okay? Let me send it. There you go. I send it here in the chat, yeah? So please click on it and you will see the word wall page. You just need to add your name and you may start, okay? I will see your progress here. Present perfect, okay? Present perfect.
Okay. I got Carla Sofia, Kenya. Okay, I got Nelly, perfect. Carlos Omar, okay. Remember that is the present perfect, guys, not other tense. Okay. I got Emerson, Fatima, Mayra, Jose. Eduardo, Tony, Carlos, Nelly, Kenya, Carla. Okay, guys. Um, was it difficult? A little. A little bit. Yes, I mean, a little bit, right? We are going to make a review about this. Okay, all right, guys, um, let's take the listen, okay? But I hope you are able to listen to the, uh, the audio, right? Because of the rain, but let's try to take the listening quiz. Uh, let me see, I think that you all finish. Mm, see? Okay, let's take the listening quiz, yeah? There you go with the link and the passcode. The passcode is listening. For the ones that are um, new guys, you click on the link, you add your full name and the passcode should be with capital letters, okay? Listening, listening is the passcode, yeah? Open it and we are going to take it in a minute. Gary is the friend of Aubrey. 
Mm, you see, no, not exactly. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, guys, ready? Who is missing? Nobody? Okay, let's take it then. Let me, let me share the sound, okay. I'm going to play it three times, three times, but please listen carefully because there is one that is not that difficult, but you need to pay attention, okay? So here we go. Hi, my name's Greg, and I'm originally from Denver, Colorado, but my family moved to Arizona when I was about three, so I grew up there. I graduated from high school about three years ago, and I'm currently attending a university in my city. I'm a junior, and I'm majoring in economics with a minor in Spanish. I also work part-time as a cashier at a grocery store. Life is really busy, but I enjoy hiking, reading, and hanging out with friends in my free time. When I graduate, I want to work for a company in this area. Okay, again, here we go again. Hi, my name's Greg, and I'm originally from Denver, Colorado, but my family moved to Arizona when I was about three, so I grew up there. I graduated from high school about three years ago, and I'm currently attending a university in my city. I'm a junior, and I'm majoring in economics with a minor in Spanish. I also work part-time as a cashier at a grocery store. Life is really busy, but I enjoy hiking, reading, and hanging out with friends in my free time. When I graduate, I want to work for a company in this area. Okay, the last time. Okay, the last time. Hi, my name's Greg, and I'm originally from Denver, Colorado, but my family moved to Arizona when I was about three, so I grew up there. I graduated from high school about three years ago, and I'm currently attending a university in my city. I'm a junior, and I'm majoring in economics with a minor in Spanish. I also work part-time as a cashier at a grocery store. Life is really busy, but I enjoy hiking, reading, and hanging out with friends in my free time. When I graduate, I want to work for a company in this area. Okay, ready? Yes, okay. Send, send your, uh, submit your answers. Let me see. Let me see this course. Mm -hmm. Okay. The difference of the of the name is Craig or Greg. 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 Yeah. Greg. Rush. <laughs> okay, Tony. Greg. 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 Uh -huh. Greg. Greg. Yes. Let me see. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oops. I think that it, it was kind of maybe difficult, I think, for some of you. Like. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Yeah, we need to improve, okay? On this module, we need to improve the listening skills. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so let's do something, okay? We are almost done. We are going to move to the speaking time, okay? Let's go to the speaking time. We are going to practice with those questions. We have uh, six questions right here, okay? So let's practice with those six questions, and then we are going to come back because we are almost done, yes? Um, all right, guys, let's go to the breakout rooms, okay? Let me create the, the rooms. Okay.
picture. Can you send the the link to the schedule, please? Okay, there you go. Thank you. Okay. And add memory. Memory. Mm. Entonces, dice, ¿qué hace que un anuncio sea memorable? Mm -hmm. eh, the first, the color, eh, the letter type, eh, in a dependent product. Eh, Carla uh, I think the history uh, will can, can will transmit uh -huh. the the, uh -huh. the ad the ad the ad, uh -huh. ad. The ad. Ad. Como advertise. <laughs> hmm? T-shirt. Uh... Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't have the link. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I think that you, yes, you connected kind of, I mean, not at eight, I think, right? There you go. Oh, thank you. Yes. Four. Okay. Do you buy product because of advertising? Advertising? Advertising. Okay. Yes. Uh, for me, yes. For me, yes. And you? I go with the food. <laughs> oh, food. <laughs> food. I, I usually if uh, buy the food for any advertise at what's advertising? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. The number three and two is the same. Let me see. Uh, the number... Oh yes. Three. Two, see yes yes uh, I yes sorry yes. If you want to move to the next stage, to the next okay. stage, yeah. Uh, what is, why is it necessary to advertise? For me, uh, increase uh, la venta. Uh, mm -hmm. 
increase aumenta la venta increase the sales no mm. incrementa la venta los anuncios I, I think it's necessary because it's, it's necessary the product, know the product. Uh -huh. um, the product? Sell. Okay. And can sell, uh, sell it. Uh, uh, the, char the characteristic, the product is mm -hmm. important. The features. The picture. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And and the cost the product. To... The cost of the product. That is right. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. good. Carla. Mm -hmm. Number two, do, Number you, two. do you think advertising is too expensive? Depends. <laughs> because Depends the product. Yes, and the how about uh, sell the sell the product? Because mm -hmm. sometimes. Uh, you, ¿Cómo se llama recuperar la inversión? Um, you uh, can recover the investment. You can recover the investment. Excellent. Uh -huh. Recupera la inversión. Uh -huh. eh, se... ¿Cómo se dice? How do you say? Eh, se win the claim. Se gana más clientes. Oh, you win more clients. Win more clients. Yes, that is correct. Yes, of course. Okay, let's go back because it's almost 10. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Yes, okay. let's go. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, Carla, why is it important to advertise? Why is it necessary to advertise? because uh, it's necessary because they know the product to know the product to be aware of the product right mm -hmm. to have knowledge yes to be aware of the product that is correct exactly Okay, guys, I think that, well, we are still missing Emerson, Nelly, Wendy, Tony, Mayra, Fatima. I think that they are here right now. Let me see. Yes, they are here. Okay, guys, just because of the time, okay, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. But thank you very much for connecting today. All right, I'll see you back tomorrow. I hope you have a good night. The only person that please stay with me, eh, Atilio. Yes, the other ones you may go ahead and rest. Okay, see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you for connecting. Good tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teachers. Good night. Good night. Good tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. See you, bye, -bye. Tomorrow. see you tomorrow. Bye bye, Nelly. Bye bye. Okay, Atilio. Hello. Hello, Atilio. How, how are you? How do you feel? I'm fine. Okay. Uh, I, good night. Uh, good night, Nelly. Mm -hmm. uh, we can um, uh, beach. 
Oh, you went to the beach? Yes. Um, God, that is cool. Beach, Tunco, Tunco. The Tunco uh, Beach. The Tunco Beach, yes. Okay. Uh, I People USA, Mart. Perfect. Do you speak in English? Uh, mm, Matil, so, so. you had the opportunity right there. You got the yes, opportunity. Yes. What uh, happened? Good night, Mayra. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I tell you that the last week I spoke with a lady for the USA. Mm -hmm. And the star and hers he spoke uh, to hear that uh, cool and very, very good. Okay, that is good. All right. I mean, you practiced. So, so, yeah, yes, yeah. practice. Um, um, momentos perdidos, como se dice? I was lost uh, uh -huh. in some moments. I was. I have love. Uh, I was. I was. I was. Yes. Um, um, but you were able to communicate. Were you able to communicate to speak? Yes. Fifty. Uh, no. Cuarto. Cuarto. The. 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 Quarter. 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 Speaking. <laughs> Oh my God, like 25%. Uh, yes. I yeah. gotta tell you about what happens. <laughs> I practice, teacher. Practice, practice. Okay, yeah. yes. You um, should practice. Um, um, uh, uh, I have a lot of question. Tell me. But this is moment I don't remember. Oh my I mean, God, I feel you. Me, me, me because I remember has so as I remember I has ten. Okay, all right, but I mean, mm, okay. Just because you tried, I would say that it was good, okay? Because you tried, yeah? You yeah. try. Okay. Uh, how do you feel with today's class? How do you feel with today's class? How do you feel? Um, um today? Yes. In um, the class. Yeah. The topic. Um expectative. Very good. Okay. Um, um How do you say? Uh, siento que, eh, o sea, con usted tengo una gran confianza. ¿Cómo se dice? <laughs> I feel that I have a lot of confidence with I you. I don't have a lot of confidence. Uh, I already feel that I have progress. Okay, in perfect. Practice, in my practice. Uh -huh. um, Tengo el gusanito de seguir, teacher. <laughs> okay, but it's it's good, okay, that you feel comfortable, right? You feel yeah. good, okay? Yeah. That is good because you participate and that is yeah. good. Mm -hmm. um, I, my friend in life in USA. Live. Um, mm -hmm. um, I speak, I speak perfect in English. Yeah. Um, my practice um, with him no not uh, and i me quedo muy, muy me quedo muy atrás <laughs> como se dice mm, i i a step behind ah uh, i step behind yes mm -hmm. uh, uh, full full english um perfect okay ah uh, uh, I, uh, uh, people that the, uh, the the words um Europe Swiss come say Swiss Switzerland Switzerland um 
in um, India, huh? India. In India, yes. India, um, Brazil. Brazil, okay. Canada. Oh my God, Canada, Brazil, beautiful. Georgia, uh, and that, uh, the, the world. Um, okay. Many what? countries. Yes, yes, many countries. Okay. Um, perdido completamente. Ay, come on, Atilio. Okay. Pero, pero algo entendí, teacher. Okay. Y, 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 sí At quiero, least you quiero, try. La verdad sí quiero terminar y quiero ser, quiero, quiero hablarlo mucho. Okay. Yes, Atilio. Remember that is a matter of practice, okay? Es cuestión de que usted yes. practique, practice, okay? Yes. Practice, practice, practice. Vaya, Atilio. Uh, Um, okay, I, I remember, can see. Uh -huh. Remember, I working not not time. Um, mm. But you need to dedicate. Tiene que dedicarle al inglés al menos diez minutos al día. Okay? Yes, yes. Um, um, how do you say a bit? How do you say? Uh, I have proposed. I have proposed. proposed I have proposed. Yeah. Proposed. I have proposed. Um, ten minutes every day. Okay. Very good. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, Atilio. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. I'm I'm looking at your exams. Okay. Estoy viendo el examen de listening que tomamos. Okay. It, Ah, uh, it's not perfect, ok, la nota no es perfecta, pero tampoco es tan baja, digamos que estamos en intermedio 50, de la nota. 50. <laughs> 50, ok. Para los próximos necesito que nos enfoquemos más, I need to be focused, yes. ¿Qué pasa con el de gramática? Ay, el tiempo me mató. <laughs> ok, Atilio, necesito que lo tome oh, de nuevo. Yes. Okay. Okay. Tome, tome, okay. ¿sí? Porque okay. mañana vamos a hacer un repaso de eso. Entonces, ah, para que okay, okay. tenga un, un poco de, como de conocimiento de lo que vamos a ver mañana. ¿Sí? Es el presente perfecto, ya lo vimos. Pero ¿Sí? mañana sí. vamos a hacer un repaso porque veo que algunos sí tenemos algunas tal vez, dudas todavía, según las notas. Perfecto, perfecto. ¿Sí? El presente perfecto hay... ¿Cuesta? ¿Cómo se dice? It is hard. It is hard. Yes. I yes. It, it is, is hard. hard. The present is perfect hard. is difficult. But difficult. tomorrow we are going to do many activities so you can understand it better. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, yes. Okay, Atilio. Do you have any question or something? No mm, question. Uh, um, um, uh, What do you say? Uh -huh. I, I, I remember someone's remember his has the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Okay. I think. So don't forget to study. Okay. No se le olvide estudiar. Don't yes. forget the platform. La plataforma. No se le olvide. Okay. Yes, I I I work in the platform. Okay. One moment. One moment. Okay. Bye. Very good, Adilio. So thank you very much. That's it for today. Okay. I'll see you back tomorrow. I hope you have a good night. Rest. Okay. Trate de descansar. Yes. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Bye bye. Goodbye, Adilio. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay. Good night.